What's up everyone, Tech Mindset here. In this video, we're cracking open the Steam Deck and swapping out the SSD. My Steam Deck recently arrived and I've been playing around with it. With the 64 gigabyte base model, I wasn't able to put any more modern AAA games on it and I could only fit a few older games on it before it was maxed out. With my one terabyte SSD arriving around the same time as the Steam Deck, I figured it's time to upgrade this thing and actually be able to install some games that are over 100 gigabytes. I should note before I begin that Valve does not recommend swapping the SSD, so I'm doing this at my own risk. If you don't feel comfortable doing this with your Steam Deck, then you should probably look at picking up a supported micro SD card with ample amounts of storage. If you'd like to see me try a micro SD card in the Steam Deck or try anything else with it, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Warning aside, I found it wasn't too difficult to open up the Steam Deck and swap out the drive. I did not have an iFixit kit at the time of making this video, so I'll have to get by with my old screwdriver set, guitar pick, and a gift card. I'm also going to use the carrying case to securely hold the Steam Deck while it's facing down. First, I need to remove the back plate by removing 8 screws. Once that's done, I use the guitar pick and the gift card to open up the clips along the edge of the case, taking care not to break anything. Once I get one side unhooked and open, the whole thing comes right off. Looking at the metal plate on the left, I need to remove the metal tape to expose a screw underneath, but also take care to preserve that tape so I can put it back when I reassemble the Steam Deck. With the tape out of the way, I can now unscrew and remove the three screws that are holding the metal plate in place. Now that the plate's been removed, you can see the SSD at the bottom sheathed by a metal wrapper. But before I can remove it, I first need to disconnect the battery from the board. With the battery disconnected, I can now unscrew the screw that holds the drive in place and then pull out the drive. The metal sheath slides right off and I can tilt the drive up and then I can pull it out. I'll hold it up here so you can get a closer look. Compare that with the new drive. Next, I have to wrap the metal sheath around the new drive before I can install it back in the Steam Deck. At a similar 45 degree angle that I took it out, I can slide the drive back in. And now when it's snugly in place, I can push it towards the board and then screw it into place. When that's done, I can plug the battery back into the board and then reinstall the metal plate and screw it back down. You may have noticed that I missed a step before reattaching the back plate and snapping it back into place. I had actually put in all the screws before I realized that I forgot to stick that piece of tape back inside the Steam Deck. On top of that, when I was trying to get the back plate open again, I think I forgot to take out one of the last <laughs> screws, so I was struggling to get it open again. So just before I gave up, I was able to pry it open just enough to use my tweezers to put the tape back in place. Don't do what I just did. Now with the plate snapped back into place, I can screw in the eight screws. That's all there is for the hardware, now it's time to reinstall SteamOS. For that, I first need to go to Steam's website and download the SteamOS deck image. Next, I need Rufus. If you've never heard of Rufus before, you can check out this video where I use Rufus to make a bootable flash drive to install Linux. I've also used it to create bootable flash drives to install Windows. With the flash drive prepared, I use a USB-C dock so I can plug it into the Steam Deck. I boot the Steam Deck into the boot menu by holding the volume down button and pushing the power button. Next, I go to the boot manager and select the flash drive under the EFI boot device. Doing that will load me into a live USB version of SteamOS so I can install Steam Deck onto the new SSD by clicking on the re-image Steam Deck icon. 
I'll get a warning message and clicking to proceed starts the process. After some time, a new prompt will come up and clicking proceed one more time, the device restarts. After a while, the welcome screen is back where I can choose the language, time zone, and then set the Wi-Fi. Once that's connected, it will now install updates and restart again. After that, I can go through the initial screens again and then get to the sign-in screen where I can log in with my Steam account. Now, just like in my unboxing video, we get a brief tutorial of how to navigate the Steam Deck. And to prove I'm on the new drive, check out the storage screen showing 935 gigabytes free. All in all, not that complex of an upgrade, and now that I have more storage, I can play around with more games and see how this thing performs. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and share, and leave a comment for things you'd like to see with the Steam Deck. That's all for this one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.